Here at Westpac Restorations in Colorado Springs, a pretty unique restoration project going on involving this P-38 Lightning, which was found in New Guinea. It involves the plane and one of the pilots who used to fly it. Not just a job, that's for sure. A symphony of men and machines. To be able to take it all apart, I mean, down to nothing, and then put it back together to what it is today, it's very much an accomplishment. <laughs> Song playing these days. I mean, the history on this airplane is significant. Was written 70 years ago. All the history is still in this airplane. World War II historians found this ship, White 33, in a jungle grave in New Guinea a decade ago. The owners chose Westpac to restore it, and then the project took a turn. This guy comes walking in. He was 93 or 94 at the time. He says, uh, I hear you got some P-38s, and you know I flew them in the war. Would you mind if I come back and took a look at them? Westpac has five P-38 airframes, but White 33 is special, as it will be the only one of seven flying in the U.S. today to have flown in combat in the big one. And he looked at it, and he said, this is my airplane. And Colorado flying vet Frank Royal knows why. That's one of the planes that I flew in combat in World War II. When the fighter was new, Royal became instructor and squadron commander of the 39th Fighter Group, flying more than 200 combat missions. <laughs> and when people hear well, his story, he gets you know, the hero treatment. People go to sleep if you tell the same story, so you have to <laughs> embellish it a little bit now and then. What he doesn't embellish happened when a wingman tried to parachute to safety after being shot down. And went to try to protect him. And uh, we all ended up in a big shooting expedition going around and around his chute. And he was like a monkey trying to run up and down the lines. The wingman landed safely in a palm tree. And they were still shooting at me, but at, at treetop level, I could outrun him. But one of Royal's gas tanks was hit. The twin engine plane has shared gas tanks, so he hit a reserve and the engine caught and he landed safely. I just kind of caught my breath and sat there for a while. Fast forward 70 years, 100 year old Royal tells the workers. I could fly the airplane pretty well. He doesn't have too much to live for, except his visits to the hangar. And I said, Frank, you got to stay around. You got to stay around to see this airplane fly. And he goes, Hey, you're right, I forgot about that. So, you know, it gives him something to come out and be a part of, and it's a big part of our history, so it works for both sides. Let's go around the other side here. If we have to strap him to a crane and lower him in, he's for sure gonna, gonna be able to sit in the seat again. Maybe I can catch a ride someday. In the cockpit one more time before heading into the wild blue yonder. They're gonna have to hurry. I think I've got another flight scheduled, my last flight. In Colorado Springs, with photographer Chris Mosier, Sean Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.